Morning, morning. So right, we're here in sunny Nerka. And uh, I've been here a couple of days now. Um, I've got a spare two hours. Right, do you mind munching? I'm making a vlog. And um, there's two, well, three main parts I'd like to show you in Nerka. Uh, or Nurka as some people call it. Um, there's the part to the east, which is Buriana, which has got a beautiful beach down there and some restaurants, a really, really good paella restaurant. And then there's the centre bit, there's the beautiful town of Nerka, uh, where I'm parked at the moment. And then uh, there's another bit down that way. Um, it's a like a Pueblo, uh, an old town. I forget what it's bloody called. Oh shite, Dale, you're not very prepared today, are you? Um, uh, oh, e bon bolsa, bol I can't remember. Bolsa, that's bag. Um, yeah, so, um, let me just find out on my phone. I'm so useless, I should know this. So, right, here we go, here we go. Right, so, maps. Two sex, two sex, two sex, two sex. Uh, there's a balcon, Europa. I've got to break it down into two like bits, so um, I'll put it all together in one video. The reason I can't do it all in one day is obviously Spike's got a bad leg. And uh, parking El Playazo, that's where I used to park. Uh, camping, there's the camping. Uh, it's not there, it's not there. It's not there, and it's not there. Oh. El Playazo. BP garage. I'm so useless. Um, the Tropicana Bar. Punta Lara. It's called Punta Lara. Sorry, I'm flipping useless. See, Google Maps or I don't know where the hell I'm going. Yeah, Punta Lara. So um, there'll be like um, the beach, uh, the town, and then we'll take a walk out to Punta Lara, which is quite a good walk. And there's two bars up there. They both open at five o'clock. So we'll do that in kind of like an afternoon. Um, I can't do that today, obviously. Two reasons. Spike can't walk that far because he's got his gammy leg. And uh, uh, I've bumped into an Italian friend of mine, Franco Cosario. And um, he's uh, he came down to the van yesterday. I didn't even realise he was here. And he's invited me to have lunch with him. And Franco's lunches are famous for lots of wine and really good Italian food. So I'm definitely not going to miss that. And he's a cool guy. So, uh, so yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. So let's... Uh, Get the hands ready, they're all chomping at the bit, ready to go. You wanna go for a walkie? Yeah? You go for a pee pee dingy? Alright, alright, so they're ready. And, uh, right, let's go to the beach. Come on, fat boys. That, hey, 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 get here, get in there. Come on, you're not on the lead. Give me your knife. Come on, then. So this is where we're staying. I got a little corner spot there, which is a bit of a pain in the morning because I don't get the sun till quite late, till about eleven o'clock. But I don't bother me. And this is the main auto caravana parking. Like I say, it's free for now, but they will um. I think they will start charging at some point, but just check on uh, Park for Night latest um, reviews on Park for Night to see if they started charging yet. This is the uh, payment booth, which, as you can see, is all um, cordoned off at the moment. So we're not sure what's going on. Like I said before, I think the mayor and the council, or the whatever they are down here, are having a bit of a ding dong about whether to pay. But the, uh, um, if you look here, it says tariff rate, three cents a minute or 180 an hour maximum uh, euros, 12 euros for 24 hours maximum. So, but at the moment, as you can see, it's free. So, there's the uh, payment machine. If you turn right as you come out, it takes you down this little slip here, which takes you onto a really nice street and you can turn left and head towards Buriana Beach. This is a really nice part of the uh, town down here on this balcony.
Get a load of this. Beautiful. At the uh, entrance to the Paradores Hotel, there's a little alleyway, and uh, you walk up here, and there's a really nice viewpoint at the end of this alleyway, which takes you down to the Buriana Beach. And you'll see that in a minute. This is us just coming to the end of the uh, the alleyway. Get a load of this. This is Buriana Artanecha. I take it it is anyway. In February twenty twenty three. Very steep around here, by the way, and the uh, that's the end of the alleyway up there. And the path is very steep, zigzagging down, and then there's a very steep hill to walk down to the beach. The player, so if you, uh, you're not very good on your legs, it might not be a good walk for you. And here we are down at the beach. You used to get a few vans parked in here years ago, but every time they parked here, the police moved them on. It's a very popular beach, this. Let's go and have a look along the player. Oh, we've got a little shitty dog there. Come on, Spike. Ah. <sighs> Beach is cordoned off. This well, this part is anyway. Oh, they're digging some up. I'll do the water. It's quite early in the morning at the moment, so a lot of stuff's not open yet. Let's go and have a look up here. That's a bit of a pain. They're doing all this work down here. I was down here. Uh, last year it's absolutely gorgeous, but looks like I just picked the wrong time to show you the Buriana. Sorry, guys. Warm today. It's only about 11 o'clock at the moment, half 10, 11. Already got a bit of a sweat on. And there's a good paella restaurant at the end here. And the guy, there's a big fire and uh, cooks all the big pan of paella on the, uh, on the fire. So definitely recommend if you go to Nerka, come and visit this paella restaurant. Beautiful, done the old ways. Here's the uh, uh, paella restaurant, AO. AYO. You can pop in here for a pee as well, free of charge. Here's the, the restaurant, it's all very open. And if you look down here, because it's early, they won't be cooking yet, but the chap will be getting his. There you go, there goes a the pan. Hola! Him just getting ready to cook his paella. Yeah. Yeah. Just crossing the road now, away from the beach, and then we'll have a look. This is where all the bars are down this way, so we're doing a big U circle. A U circle, <laughs> and here's all the bars. And there's a little bar I go down to here, a little bar cafe called the Paradise Bar. 
that's uh that's what i one of the best bars in this little area i would say good food and uh good beer this is a paradise bar no beer today far too early Right, a lot of stuff shut because obviously it's winter at the moment. This will all be open if you come here in the summer, but I wouldn't want a beer in the summer, it would be too hot. It's hot enough in the winter. Right, we're back to the beginning of the beach, and I gotta climb up that big hill. You don't need to see that again. And we got two whippets here one's a crippled whippet and a spike. And uh, getting back to the van, and then I've got to go out for this barbecue. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll go to. Uh, oh, it's a bit better, and you can see me now. We'll go to the town next, but that'll film up tomorrow. But it'll be now.